Uh, this is the morning of September 19th. I am um, taking you on a little tour of my yard. Uh, everything is burnt like this. There is not a plant or a tree that is unaffected by what is happening here. These are young trees. These are young black poplar. This one's maybe two or three years old. It should be thriving. Um, you know, here's a little rose bush. Also very young. It should be thriving. Even the thistle is being affected here. We're going to go for a little walk around. It might be, you know, a couple minutes, but I really think that it, it's uh, important that everybody sees and knows. This is a raspberry, which is also an extremely, extremely hardy plant. And they're all affected. This is a different one. Here's yet another one. Another one. Now, uh, for those who don't know, these are deciduous. So they lose their leaves every year in the fall, and then they get new leaves. So whatever's taken place here has either been put on directly onto the leaves, and that's what it looks like to me, is like they've actually been sprayed with something. This is willow. And um, they've either been sprayed with something or they're sucking up some extremely, extremely toxic water from the ground. Okay. I'm trying to move slow and I hope this is filming so that you can see that everywhere is damaged. And this is just in my little yard, in my little place of the world, but it's everywhere. It's, um, we have documentation from across the world that the plant life is suffering like this. And if you look at the forest, um, all the trees are suffering. Like they're all this funny brown color. They're not supposed to be this color. And they are because something's seriously wrong. Here's another type of willow. Okay, I'm going to take you now, well, look at, this is part of what uh, the problem is. These are not natural clouds. These are weather modification, geoengineering, um, whatever you want to call it, chemtrails. There appears to be 50 different names to it. Nobody denies that it's happening. Uh, but nobody will talk about it either. Um, some news media outlets have reported on it. And, um, like this is just, it's everywhere. This one is especially shocking to me. Um, These leaves appear to be, you know, dry, but they're not. This is still, um, you know, they're not dried up like they look. Look at that one there. Holes right through the leaf. And then some, we're seeing a lot of mold on, and 
that would be because we're lacking sunlight. The plants aren't being allowed to get the sunlight that they need. And so they're getting illness. We can't allow this. We can't have this. You have to learn to recognize what's natural and what's not. There is a blue sky back there somewhere, but even this part here, some of these chemicals last up there three, four days. So to get a blue, blue sky, it would take, you know, days of no spraying. And um, since I've been documenting it, we have not had more than one day in a row in the year of 2014. We have been sprayed here continuously, and, and, and this is the result. Yet another type of, type of willow. You have to forgive me, I'm trying to navigate over some rough terrain here. But I thought it's important that you know that this isn't like an area where a pesticide has ever been used. Um, this is uh, virgin earth, if that's what you want to call it. Um, whatever's happening to them is getting to them through the, from the sky. I watched a video last night and uh, it inferred that this could be warfare. And um, if it is, we need to make peace and we need to do it now. Um, we're already slaves to the system, so it doesn't really matter who's telling us what to do and who's not. Let's make peace and save this planet. because we won't last much longer if we continue to allow this to happen. The whole forest, here's some of the larger trees we're coming up to. Um, they've been losing their leaves since the beginning of July and some are completely defoliated. Now, I don't know if that means that they're dead now or they're just sick and maybe the leaves will come back next year. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've been trying to call all my environmental agencies and uh, they don't want to investigate. And according to the video, it's because they know what's going on. And um, I just, it, I have a hard time wrapping my head around that. Um, I'm so very blessed today to be um, meeting with my MLA, who I do believe is genuinely concerned. Um, she grew up in this area. She knows what it's supposed to look like. and um, I'll be presenting this video to her. Thank you, Maureen, for seeing me today. This is one of the trees that died over the summer, or I pray it's not dead. I pray that the leaves just couldn't stay on because of the toxins on them. These are the two that made it so obvious. It, it, I could tell early in July something was wrong by these two guys. And they're so healthy, and then all of a sudden they were just brown. And uh, I pray it's just their leaves falling off because of what's on them. I would be so sad if, if this is actually killing them. I noticed yesterday 
um, coming down the uh, driveway that um, each and every leaf that is laying on the ground, here's some more that are defoliated, and they shouldn't be. This is, uh, you know, uh, middle of September. This doesn't happen here at this time of year. And it surely doesn't happen like this. I encourage everyone to do a video like this. If they see this plant life, uh, sickness and uh, destruction, you need to share it. Here's some more really young trees. These are just little guys. They're only about probably six or seven, maybe eight years old. Something got on to them. This is a uh, fire bush. This is just the hardiest little plant, and but look at it. All the all the plants on the forest floor. I beg you, Maureen, I beg you to push for the proper testing on those plants that we delivered yesterday and um, speak out. You, you do have the ability to change things. Look at the leaves. Every leaf that's on the ground is sick. I really appreciate anybody who watches this video and shares it and speaks out. We need to act now. Thank you for watching everybody. I know this has been a long, a long video, but I appreciate it. And Maureen, I appreciate whatever you do to help us. Bye.